So what we have here is a PTO shaft. Kelly and myself is going to teach you the proper way of taking it apart, cutting it down so that it'll fit a particular tractor. Each and every tractor is a little bit different and the length of PTO shaft you need is different. So at times it's very important that you cut the PTO. You need to make sure it allows enough room that it can go in and out as your lift is raising up and down. But if it's too long, it will damage your product or your tractor. So it's very important that you read the manual and find out the proper way or what your PTO should be setting at. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be removing the plastic shielding off of this. This is a protective shielding to help keep from you getting caught up inside the the PTO actually spins inside the plastic. We'll take off the plastic, we'll separate them out. We will cut off a set amount of what we know we need for our tractor and it has to come off both sides of it. And then once you cut off the steel portion of it, then you'll need to cut off that much of the plastic section off each side of it. And that keeps it so that it moves back and forth properly. So we've determined that we need to take two inches out of this PTO, it needs to be two inches shorter. So you're gonna separate the two PTO shafts. What he's doing here is he's punching down a white piece of plastic that locks the shielding on. Whenever you push in on the plastic right here, it disengages it and lets it all slide off. So now, being that we need to take off two inches, he's gonna mark an inch of it off an inch on the plastic and an inch on the inside of the PTO shaft. And then we'll use, what we're using is a bandsaw, a portable bandsaw, to cut it off. So once we have it properly marked, and again, depending on what you have for a saw at your place, you can use whatever you can cut it through. I've seen a hacksaw do it, I've seen a chop off saw do it. We just have this portable band saw that we're gonna do ours with. So we cut our steel shaft off. Now we'll cut our plastic shaft off. Then you'll take a file and you'll touch up your edge here because you may burn just a little bit. You may have to touch up your edge just a little bit in order to, to get a good smooth slide right inside of it. So again, we're gonna go back. We need to take the shield off of this PTO shaft. All we have to do on this particular PTO shaft is push in on the three white tabs. Once you get all three pushed in, again, it'll slide off the whole coating wheel. We're gonna mark it up one inch. We'll repeat the process on this half of the PTO shaft. Now we're gonna cut the plastic off of this side of it. Need to clean up on the inside edges of this one. We need to make sure that they are burr free and will slide properly up inside each other. So you should get a good movement. Once you ensure that you got your D bird done, now we're gonna put our shafts back together. We put our inner tube in, our protected tube. We want to line up our slots and our hose. Each of the white plastic will snap into its place. Once you get that into place, you're going to take the right coupler, and again, they're different sizes because they're different sizes of the PTO shaft. Once you get it up in there, we're going to lock this back into place. Make sure our white tabs have caught. This keeps it from coming back off. It'll hold it secure. This one's all snapped back together. You can see the white tabs inside are all in their proper location. We're gonna place them together. It'll slide back in. Now you have a PTO shaft that's two inches shorter. It should properly run smooth like that. And that's the proper way of cutting down a PTO shaft. Any question, go to tartarusa.com, chat with Tartar, or call 1-800-RIG-GATE.